Hey everyone, how you doing? It's me Joe and welcome back to Armour 3. Today we are playing on the Tanoa map. This came out last night as I'm recording this. Um, to play on it, you need to be on the development build and you have to have the Apex expansion, I believe. I think that's how it works. Um, but since this map came out, I've been exploring the hell out of it, checking out all the different uh, landmarks and just the scenery. It's been amazing. Um, I'll, I'll throw you um, some screenshots now. The, the hills and that just look incredible. Like... I was literally just getting in a plane, jumping out of the plane, uh, landed at random places in the jungle, and it just looked every single location I landed at just looked seems to look amazing. Um, but since that since that came out, I did a couple of vi videos yesterday um, showing off some of the different. Like, I went to the temple ruins. I did a video on that, and it was pretty creepy. But since that, I've been looking on the Steam Workshop like every few hours to see if there's any actual missions on yet. And the only mission I saw. You got the odd, there are a few on there. You can get like the sandbox where you go to the airfield, and um, and you can spawn stuff in the airfield. But you do it in the editor mode anyway. And the other thing I saw was go karting. Now on the top on the oh, say the top left I was gonna, <laughs> on the northwest side of the map. So this is Tanoa, and you can see on the northwest side of the map up here you got this big go kart track or a race track. Because it, um, I'll show you a little video now. I went to the editor mode because. Um, you can see in the editor mode it's actually completely bare there's nothing here um, it's just completely empty there's no tires there's no flags but when I actually came in did this mission you can see that someone's added the flags in the cones the like all these what the hell's that um, they've added in all these tires and stuff so they've actually made a track themselves because like you know you can you can make the track whatever way you want so I think you can actually have cars and stuff on this track as well it, what is that noise they're like a buzzer here. Something keeps beeping as I go past this line. I think they've like added something here, like the finish line or something. I don't know. Weird. Um, but yeah, they've added like, these stands. They've added like all the flags and stuff. So we're gonna have a little go on the on this little track this guy's made, which is pretty good. Um, I have the I have it in the description like I always do with these little uh, Steam Workshop things, which is always fun. Uh, but yeah, let's try not to crash because uh, I want to still go and oh, we just hit the floor. I want to go and uh, show you guys a bit of the scenery as well. And um, that's just around the corner and that. It's pretty good. But yeah, um, if you watched my uh, my Temple Ruins video, and I went through the jungle at night time, it was very spooky, very freaky. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of good horror missions on this map. Um, I can just imagine going through the, the jungle at night time when it's raining, a thunderstorm, and there's like some monster in there trying to kill you or something like that in the mission file. I think that'd be so cool. Even just like other AI walking around would be just scary as hell. Just seeing, just seeing some like random guy walking through the jungle in the, the night. Like, what does, what's he doing? You know, that that freaked me out at least. Um, but yeah, you notice the tracks go off different ways. You can see you go up up that way as well. Oh. So you can like obviously just place down the tires and whatever way you want. That that branch is a bit low. I don't like that. <laughs> Take your head off. Um, so yeah, this this track's not necessarily like an official one. This is just one that some guys made. Um, so you, like I said, you know, there's you see you go over, over that way down to the swamp and stuff, um, which looks pretty good. But yeah, this is little, it's not a bad little track. Like I I never understood when the uh, go kart DLC came out. I, it really confused me. This is a military simulator, and they just added go karts. I just thought that's so weird. That's so random. Um, they're quite hard to drive. They did take a while to learn to drive properly, but um, oh. but yeah, I think they do. They do work. You know, you can actually have a bit of fun with a go kart in this. It's on these little tracks, it's pretty cool. And there's a the finish line. But yeah, I want to go this way because I think this this one goes into the jungle. This this road. Well, not this one necessarily, but this one over here. I just want to follow it, and see where it goes because you can't. You know, he's blocked it off. You can't. It's not letting you go this way. So you can see here, you blocked it off. You can't actually go this way. So that's why I think you can actually add proper cars in here. You have car races and stuff going through the jungle. See what I mean? It's really cool. But anyway, we did the race. Uh, I'm gonna stop down here. You go through the swamps and that. It's pretty cool. See, I reckon you could do car races along here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the scenery quickly. It's really cool. Look at that. But I just love the fact you can go from out here, like this little swampy area, 
like this road, and you can just go in here, and you're in a jungle. Oh, look at this, it's like I've just walked into Jurassic Park, or like a Vietnam or something. Like, these trees are incredible, look at this tree. I like that you can just hide in the roots and stuff, look. Imagine that, in a game, like, you can hide in here, wait for someone to walk past, that'd be terrifying. The sun rays coming through the trees, it's just really cool, I really, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's, I just really like the look of this map, I've just been exploring the hell out of it. You can find little trails and stuff in these jungles as well. Um, and they lead to places, you know, they lead to like landmarks or they lead to um, towns and stuff. There's like fruit up there, I can't tell what they are. There's something up there. But yeah, you know, it's just like there's so much to explore on this map and I think I think like Exile and things like that would be pretty fun in here. Building a little base in, the, in this jungle, or these sort of jungles, it would be really cool. Um, let's check it up on these rocks. And yeah, you can just see the land, like the scenery, just nearby, like... A castle up there, like some rocks in the castle. Got a little town over there. So there's just so much. I've just been having so much fun doing it. I have had an idea for a video, and it's to do like just no no commentating over it, just like a scenic video. Where I just go around and check out all the landmarks, and I add some cool music over it, and do some cool editing and stuff. And if you want to see something like that, let me know, and I'll do it. But uh, yeah, that's the go karting. Um, on the map, which is pretty fun. Um, I think you know you've got potential there for loads of different types of tracks, and I think even cars can go on there. So I, I'm stuck in the pier now. <laughs> Help! There you go. Let's go up here. That's cool. So you got these little boats as well. Can't actually use them; they're just there. I think this one's floating as well. Yeah, it's floating. <laughs> but yeah, that's um. That's uh, the go-kart one to know us. So I'm going to end it here because I'm just babbling on about how good the map is. And it is really good. But you guys came for the go-kart and I'm guessing. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.